Hello everyone, what's up? This is the Cool Crew here, and welcome to the official release of The Long Dark. I've been supporting this game ever since the alpha, back, like, maybe two or three years ago. And now they have finally released the story mode for this game. So much has changed over the months. And now it's finally time to play the story mode of the Long Dark. Let's get ready to start a new story. So we got episode one, Do Not Go Gentle. Episode two, Lumens Fuju. And then we got three more episodes that are going to be unlocked soon. Now, I have a reason for not uploading, for like for my upload schedule to be delayed. As you saw, I didn't upload yesterday. And that was because episode 12 of God of the Resurrection, the Bandicam happened to screw up and did not record my mic. I know, it was... It was so dumb, I felt so stupid. And plus I'm gonna be going on a vacation soon, so... It will be... The daily episodes will be you know, uh, halted for about a week. But anyways, let's start episode one. Not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Alright, let's start. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for this. No, let's put a little, um, I was going to put some insight, but looks like the story's about to start. Oh, shoot, just getting right into it. Oh, I'm hearing voices. Oh, whoa! Oh! Can I walk, or... Oh. Oh, I gotta... Come on! The long dark. I need to find some shelter from this wind. So I'm guessing that it's highly similar to uh so I'm stuck in some kind of ravine. I guess I get I'm guessing it's the story mode works almost like uh, sur the sandbox survival mode. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. The scrap metal shard. We're using that to, like, break down stuff. 
That's interesting. Start your treatments and learn to try as there's so many ways to die in women smell creams. They may your heart from the natural world will save your life. Use the stat screen to check on your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid radio menu. You can also use treatments from your pack menu. The case well, preparation self control volume survival, check your controls menu if you're unsure of how to do something, this could save your life. Okay. Um I think I know how to mostly work this, but it looks like we're gonna need to get as much stuff as we possibly can to survive. Uh fire prize heat or Food pr protection. What? Use the campfire option in the radio menu. You'll need all the fixings the fire starter, tinder, and fuel. Yep. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water, as well as keeping you from freezing to death. Yep. Alright. I. Oh, there's. Oh, I'm bleeding? Whoa, 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 ho hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm bleeding. Oh, no, oh, no. Um, let Let's use the bandages. Alright, um. Inventory, uh, um. First aid. Bandages. Okay. Alright, so, just resting, okay. Um. Let's put a campfire down. God, it's been a while since I played this, so I, I don't remember the... Okay, so what's the radio menu? Radio menu is space, okay. Campcraft, fire... Let's put it right here. And, uh, let's hope this works. Come on. Yeah, it's going to be useful once we get some accelerant, because then there will be an almost guaranteed percent that we will start the fire, and it goes so much faster. Fire's life out here. That's all I have in me. I need to lay down before I fall down. Oh. Stats in your early warning system when you quick when you bring up the quick stats or real menu, you'll get a preview of the current conditions as well as informed about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Any time one of these stats indicators is empty and red, this means you lose condition, lose all your condition, and you'll die. Yep. Alright, so Do we got anything to drink? Nothing. I mean, I guess I'll be stuck here a while. Better see what I can use. Yep. I'll try to find as much So our the little shard that we have is losing durability, so we won't be able to use it for long. Looks like but from what I'm from what I'm seeing, there's like loads of crates and stuff. I'll look in here and see if I can find any uh food or drink. Jeez, come on, open it. Oh, we got an MRE. Oh, that thank God. Let's eat it.
Wow, that didn't even... That helped me with uh, hunger, but thirst did nothing. Okay, antiseptic, wind matches. We just got a crate. Uh, so we got a book that we can use for the fire, newsprint. I need snow if the hypothermia would kill me. Oh, I don't, I don't need rose hips yet. Can I go down? Okay, nope, nope, nope. I cannot do that. Um, looks like there's nothing else I can really use except just starting up a fire and boiling some water. Well, melting snow and boiling water. Because if this is ex almost exactly identical to survival mode, we're going to need that stuff. Alright, we gotta reset this so we can use a... Uh... I, if I'm correct, the Tinder doesn't do anything? Okay, uh... Chance of success, 95. Alright, we'll use the book and then we'll just put in some firewood to keep it going. Come on. So, uh, after we get water, I don't know what we can do next. I mean, after that, we're, we pretty much can't go anywhere. Make water from fire. Yep. Let's let's add these sticks. And let's take a torch. Uh, and oops. Oh, okay. That's a little glitchy. Um. Equip it, how do I... Oh my god, I didn't mean to throw it. Extinguish. Alright, so obviously it's a little buggy. But we'll be fine. It's all good, it's all good. Um, let's add some more fuel. And I don't know how much snow will be able to melt. And let's just melt a little bit. And we gotta boil it, because if we drink right now, it's gonna be unsafe and we can get sick, and we don't want that to happen at the start of the game, so. Alright, let's drink this. Aw, oh, that helps so much. Aw, oh, that... Oh, shoot, okay. Luckily... We can treat that. Let's get the uh, antiseptic and apply it. Alright. We didn't need to use all of it, so. So you want. Alright. So we. I feel so good. I need to rest up. Oh, okay. So, like, we just. This is like kind of tutorial stuff. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Day three. The weather's turning bad. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Oh, uh, okay. Now we're gonna have to like get as much stuff as we possibly can to keep the fire burning. Getting colder. I don't have enough firewood to last the night. I'm not make it. Luckily, we've got some cedar firewood. You can get loads of sticks. 
Uh, we have to get some more claimed wood. Check our condition. How are we doing so far? We're at 50. Uh, we're not too cold to think. Not doing that good, but I mean, we can stay. We can do this a bit longer. Let's try to find some. Okay. So I guess I'm guessing this part is just trying to find all the cedar firewood. Maybe. I don't know if episode one I go anywhere different. Because I, I hope I do. I hope it's just not in the same place. I mean, like, this is, like, super cool and to, like, teach the tutorial and all of that. But. Oh! There. If you break. Oh! You can break the crates and there can be items in there? That's. That's clever. Oh my god, this is gonna help so much. Are there any other crates? Alright, it's almost night time, so... We're going to have to stay in here again. Let's use the tinder plugs. Uh, we don't have any cardboard matches, so... And let's use one of these books. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, the voice acting is pretty good, honestly. Like, it actually makes you feel like that you're this person. It so, worked. so hopefully, let's just put in some uh, reclaimed wood. Hour 57. Okay, no, no. Let's let's stay near this campfire. And let's see if we can make a bigger heat output because... I know Cedar Firewood brings up by a lot. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. To 32.4 Fahrenheit. Or at least third plus third two point four. Which to me isn't really that big. Why well, don't you think it's that big? That's like freezing that's like zero degrees Celsius. So are we just like it's just gonna be a continuation, we just keep on going. Alright. In this case, I'm gonna leave the fire be. Yeah, I know, I can't eat anything. I'm sorry, man. I'll, I'm gonna try to find something for you, but I can't do everything.
Oh, there's a point. Is there a point where we're gonna have to go up here and like, like, oh, signal fire? Uh. So cold. Yeah, I know you're so cold, bro. All right, we're going to go inside. We we got nothing. Come on, need something. Oh, accelerants. Oh. I could eat anything. Oh, let, let's go inside first. We don't have anything to eat. We just got water. Man, this is kind of creepy, though. We I mean, were in this cave, and there's just bones. But it looks like we're not doing too well. Like, look at this. We're. S I don't know how we can drop any lower from calories, but. But we are. Or is this like a survival thing where right? we have to keep on surviving as long as we possibly can? And then we're just like destined to die. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to melt some snow. Boil it. We couldn't purify, but I don't want to waste the purification tablets. And I guess drink to at least keep our water up. I just don't think it's hot enough, so let's just add some more fuel. Oh, is this what we have to do? Fire looks good. That should last me through the night. So tired. Oh, so that's why I do. We just had to keep on adding fire. Okay. Storm would never end. I need to find some food. Okay, now we gotta find food, okay. Your ears are best of all to pay attention to your sirens. You might glean information that's important for example. Murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. So there is one up there. I don't think we can get up here. Where can I find something to eat? Oops, I, I was walking. I mean, crouching. Oh, I can get up here now. Oh. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Maybe we can finally get the carcass open 
and uh, get some food. But there's also like. Astrid's back. Ooh. Oh, oh, we're getting backstory. Oh, I'm playing solitaire. <laughs> Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, well, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after... years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Uh, hey! Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. And that's how I died. And these cutscenes. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but... I mean, but pretty good. In this case, Aspen was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died. Okay, hold, hold on. The, the voice is so uh, quiet. There we go. Hopefully I'll be able to... Hello? Hello? Open the backpack? No? Okay. Okay, cool. Hey, my coat! I don't know what clothing is like armor against almonds. Where is your enemy? Mm-hmm. You know when so if you fall more, the effect is increased. 
Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Find clothing and protect from risk. That's from falling or tangling with wildlife. Wild. Balance all these taxes. Okay. All right. Let's finally put this on. I mean, it's pretty frozen and kind. Okay. Actually, no. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Take it off. Take it off. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Let's get all the meat. All of the meat. We need all of it. Every single little bit of, bit of meat. There we go. Anything you eat can kill you. And sorry, may feel desperate enough to take your chances. When general eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over fire if like me. Food poisoning parasites. Cooked meat also cooked meat also lasts longer. Checks your prayers. Oh, so it's like that thing. Like the more I have, okay. I can't. I pick up that backpack though. Maybe it's for the next day. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't eat raw meat. It's bad for you. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you to a fire. It's cool. Oh wow, I'm surprised the fire's still burning. Let's add this little bit. Let's cook this venison. Ooh, 124 Fahrenheit. Cooked. Let's eat it. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's cool. If it, it can, it can, you know, like get dry. Anything can get dry over the fire. That's cool. Let's drink this water. Oh no 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 no! Stomach. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh God! Why do I click those slipping water? Oh God! What do I gotta do now? I gotta take. Damn. And then I gotta. Not to recover for 10 hours straight. Oh, God. Ah, <gasps> oh, great. Just perfect. And there's no way that you can, like, stop eating to, like, cancel the action. Oh, the fire's going low. There we go. Now let's boil the water. And hopefully we can uh, drink it. Yeah. Looks like we're pretty much set. My stomach it hurts. Yeah, I know oh, your it hurts. I know your stomach hurts. I know, I know, I know. 
looks like we're gonna have to uh, wear it now. I mean, it's pretty wet, but hopefully it won't get any more wet. Okay, so there's nothing more to hard harvest. I could probably climb that. Ooh, we can climb this finally. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Thanks. Mother Nature's Mother Nature's painkiller. Nice Mother Nature is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea of pain. Ooh! Man, finally, we can. Up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. Uh, wh wait, so what? <laughs> what? I just, I just lay there. I feel stronger today. I think I can climb out of here now. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you know, can see as you learn things about the world. Either through your own actions or through interacting with people. You unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. The knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. Ooh! So, I'm guessing that the tutorial is done. And since we can finally walk out of here now can we can we like craft right here apparently not. oh now we can run finally okay can we pick up can we nope we can't do anything in the backpack only one way to go Yep, let's climb. All right. We finally did it. We are now up at the second level, so I guess goodbye to our plane, our wrecked plane. Uh, and let's continue. Oh, man. Introducing Climbing Simulator 2017. Oh. I think I'm make it. Oh yeah, you think you can make it? Well, guess what? You don't think you're gonna make it. You are gonna make it because I said so. There's nothing Get that... Near the top. Oh, sweet. This may be the last thing that we can... That we need to do to climb. Finally made it. Ah, oh, finally, we've made it. All right. So first things first. Looks like we got more of the down the plane up here. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a corpse. I was about to be like, whoa! Hold on. I sure hope Astrid's not in there. Ooh. Ooh, more backstory. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. 
have moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Oh. Will? Oh. There must be signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Chapter 2, Echoes of Astrid. Ooh, the plot thickens as I scavenge for sticks. Great job, me. You are so hilarious. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Ooh, there's something over here. Ooh, beef jerky on orange are ah, oh, nice. Got some reclaimed wood. A bit of it. Sign that there doesn't seem to be much left. Anyways, let's bust open this crate, because as you've clearly seen, there can be stuff in there. Ooh, socks and a vest. Oh. Alright. Let's go to our character and see if we can equip it. Okay, so this is frozen, so probably not... Okay, that's probably not good to wear it as of now. Ooh. She definitely passed through here. We did hurry. Run for your life. Walking through snow with heavy pack, pack and get time, but sometimes you just have to run. Escape wildlife, avoid weak ice, or get to shelter fat size sprinting. Keep in mind, sprinting uses up more calories than walking, and you spend the amount of by how strict of your clothing is. It takes you a while to recover sprint stamina, so use it wisely. Yep. Oh, there's bunnies. That's that's cool. Aim true and you won't go hungry. You can pick up small stones and use some stun rabbits. Equip them and throw them to a rabbit. Then grab wild stone. If you can kill it, you can eat it. Ooh. So I'm supposed to kill bunnies now? Don't know if I'll be able to hit anything. I'm like, how do I see what's weak ice and what isn't? 
I mean, to me, all ice looks exactly the same. Oh, I believe in uh, the sandbox mode, you didn't have the uh, ring on. Wow, that sucked. Jeez! I can't aim for anything. I mean, then. <gasps> Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Let's see, it's. Alright, we'll start the fire here. And then we'll try to kill some rabbits. So the hypothermia is gone. So obvi obviously I am a poor shot. I guess we'll stay here for a little bit. Just just a little bit. So this uh coat is almost uh good. It's almost good. It's only 30% wet. This stuff is being defrosted. <laughs> I swear if I miss this. How... No, you are not getting away from me. Frick you. Get back here! Ah! I cannot aim for my life. Just give me a gun. Give me a gun and then I'll be better. Oh my god. Another hypothermia risk. Great. Just great. Because I love when that happens. Can't. Kill a. Uh, oh my god, can't kill a rabbit. Keep throwing stones. What else is gonna happen? Was well, my life gonna just disintegrate in front of my eyes? I got curious hypothermia risk. So, let's see. How's our status so far? Looks like we're a bit thirsty and a bit hungry, so... Let's use this beef jerky to, uh, help us. Just soda. And hopefully that'll make do for what we, for what we have at the moment. Uh, the clothing looks like it's about the same... The coat is 23% wet, so hopefully, hopefully soon, if we can kill a flippin' rabbit. Oh, 
Oh my god, you're gonna kill yourself, rabbit. Oh my god, it's taking forever to kill a stupid rabbit. Just die! You retarded rabbit! Uh, oh wow, and then right when it's at the perfect moment, I have no stones. Yay me. Alright, let's get some more and attempt to kill... Rabbit! No! I swear I'm gonna kill myself if I if this keeps going on. I swear once I get one stone, I should just equip it. We do have hypothermia risk. Oh, God. Twenty-one percent wet, ninety-six percent. This stuff's getting more. Oh, okay. I see why. Cause it's getting wet, and then we're going back into the cold, making it freeze up again. Okay. I see. Wonder if we step into the fire, are we gonna get burned? So we're just gonna have to wait for this stuff to actually like stop, and then we're gonna we have to wait for it to like for some of it to not be wet anymore, and then finally we won't constantly keep getting hypothermia problems, hypothermia risk problems as often, at least. Hmm. Looks like this. Looks like the socks are pretty worn and the pants. Maybe we can. We can't repair. Okay, we don't have a sewing kit. Kind of screwed on that. And looks like the hypothermia has been healed, so that's good. Yeah, can we make this fireplace hotter so the stuff actually, like, stops being frozen? And geez, this stuff takes a while. And I can slowly see it not being frozen anymore, but then you got the fact that it has to stop being wet then. Oh, it's only 3% wet. I'm going to say when this is completely dry, we're going to try to kill some rabbits, and it looks like that's going to be pretty soon. So it's finally done. All right. <laughs> oh, I got it. Kill. Kill. No. Did you play
No, how, how twice? It's been twice. Why is it only stunned for like two seconds? This is so dumb. First time I actually get a rabbit, I can I can't even do anything to it. Plus, I don't know what that aiming reticule is. I just want to be on this part for like the longest time when I feel like I shouldn't. Now, please kill. Aww. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh man, poor rabbit. I, I'm feeling bad for the rabbit now. Now we can eat the cooked rabbit. And drink. Oh my god. What? Now he suddenly can? That makes no sense whatsoever. Man, poor rabbit. I feel I'm feeling bad for the rabbit now. Do I need anything else? I got loads of this stuff. So I think I'm good. I, I I'm not killing any more rabbits. I'm I'm not. We got like a We got like a oops. We got a bedroll that we can put down to just sleep. I'm gonna guess not. Looks like this stuff is almost uh thawed out, so that's good. But I think Hello game Did... That was weird Oh there is Wow I'm so dumb I thought that you couldn't craft I think we need bandages As of now but it is starting to become nighttime, so I think that we're going to have to keep on moving. Okay, now let's unfree, let's defrost at least this vest and then we'll leave. Which makes me guess that since we're here, a lot more of this stuff. What? Nine minutes? What? What? Why? 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 Why just become that? That is such bull. That is so stupid. Now we're gonna have to melt as much snow as we possibly can. And the campfire is burned out. Okay. 
So at least on this stuff has been thawed. Man, poor rabbit. That was pretty gruesome, how we just like Oh, there must oh. Be a way to get up there. So I can get up here, that's cool. Does the climbing actually affect how well I am? So that's pretty cool. That's a that's a good game mechanic. Like literally, how you have to be prepared. Ooh, there's a deer carcass. All right. I'm gonna have to take as much as we possibly can. R.I.P. Deer. When you fall, then get under suffocation. You'll kind of. Yep. Like we're going into this cave. Also, it's a loading screen. Okay. Each light source has pros and Many light source in there. You can craft torches out of available materials. Pharaohs provide a one-off light source. Lanterns last longer. Use up oil. Darkness hides dangerous objects. Potential to be crafting. Apparently, carrying out their actions. Okay. Okay, couldn't see for Whoa, what? Resting heals you can see as your progress. So we got we got a bedroll, but I didn't expect a dead dude. Can always use more food. So he's got clothing, okay. And looks like they're not uh wet, so that's good. Did they? I sw oh man, I thought that they actually made you turn sideways to actually get through. No, it's just rocks. this anymore do we keep going forward or do we go to the side I mean I I don't know I can't see anything pinnacle peaches antiseptic backpack and there's a leather Lamp Ooh, a sewing yeah. kit. Finally, we can. A letter found in this card. Let's read the text. I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. So I'm turned back to see if they can wait it out at the old church. I kept going by. I think I took a wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning see if I can find a trail. The letter is signed Alice. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, much better. So there's a campfire burned. There's a campfire over there just in case. And what's down here? Ac no, no, we're not going down there. Let's let's wait it out.
let's use accelerant and some oh, terrible wood. There we go. That should help warm things up. Oh no, no, I don't want to light it. Um. Let's put the ruined torch in there. Alright, so let's see how our status is so far. So this stuff, this uh, jacket is becoming less wet. These have to be thawed out still. Um, let's see how is our character doing. Got no affliction, so that's good. Um, we're kind of hungry and kind of thirsty, so... I mean, I'll give him some beef jerky because, like, he doesn't need too much. Ah, oh, I should have ate the pinnacle peaches. Now, I don't know why. You see that thing down the bottom right it says add to radial? What, what does that mean? Because I, I, I don't understand it. Let's boil this little bit of water that we have. And yeah, we don't need it as of now. So. Looks like we're running really low. On, uh firewood so it's like we'll only be able to sleep for about three hours let's place it um Right next to it. Let's see if there are a whole three hours. And anyways, guys, I guess that's going to be uh all for today. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoy it, please sure leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, leave a comment if you want, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay cool.